So as you can see, we've finally got a uh, proper pad controller now. Um, I really like the feel of this one, it's MPD218. Out of the box though, the pads were really bad. I had to modify it myself to make it decent and sensitive. Um, so I don't recommend getting this one unless you like doing that sort of thing like I do. Um, if you want, there's a YouTube channel called Quest for Groove and he goes through lots of different pad controllers and talks about the pros and cons. Um, so you can check out that, I'll link to it below. Um, and you can decide what, what pad controller sounds good to you. But again, you can just keep on using computer keyboard or a, or a um, piano type controller or whatever you feel like until you're certain that you want to spend some money on this um, hobby. So this pad controller, as you can see, allows us to play vertically, whereas so far we've only been really playing horizontally. So it allows you to do completely different style of techniques. So I'm going to introduce you to the Quest for Groove type technique. I'm sure he got it from someone else too. Um, but that's where he kicks down here, snares there, hi-hat there. And he normally has an open hi-hat there, snare and kick there too. But I've just copied the same onto both, um, just to keep it very simple for our purposes right now. Um, so obviously you can play your basic beat on it. Bit boring though, so and then, but the best thing about this technique is you've got the thumb playing the kicks, so you can really whack them, and it's really fun to do. So you can so um, so yeah, you can see I've just added added some extra kicks there, so. That was, I think, I don't actually know what I did there. That was actually a kick on the two end, I think. So, one and two, one. So, yeah, it was a kick on the two end and a kick on the um, the three end. One and yeah, so kick on the two end and a kick, kick on the end of two and a kick on the end of three. Um, as I said, I didn't plan to do that, obviously. I didn't think about it too much. I just felt it and it felt good. Um, so you can, if you like, you can count these things out and you can practice like that. But I normally just like to come up with whatever I come up with and then figure out what it is afterwards if I want to. Um, so one thing Quest for Groove got, um, Rob, Rob his name is, is uh, likes to do is alternate. So you can... So that's on the um, upbeat, so that's the downbeat, would be this one, and you play that one on the upbeat, so they're alternating hand. Um, and that's a really easy way to get cool beats really, really simply, right? So you just play your normal one on this, and you just um, put those ones in between. So once you get used to that feeling of your hands, you can do it without even thinking about it. So as you can see, quite um, easy and really fun to do. Um, so let's learn another polyrhythm now, why not? So let's learn the um, three to four one. So um, the good, good thing is that so it's divisible by, both of them are divisible by 12. Um, so we can count all the way up to 12 if we want to, or we can count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 in, and put the beats on the right numbers. Um, so every third beat is on one hand and every fourth beat is on the other one. Or you can just listen to what I play and copy me and see if you, see if you can just do it, because that's always the most fun way to learn these things, I find. So, um, So that is the three to four polyrhythm, and if you could just start bashing that out, that's great. You can see it goes one, and then didn't, and then one by itself, and then did it. So you got one, and then a gap, two close together, one, two close together. Um, and that's my style of learning, is I like to figure it out and then just play it without thinking about it. So um, make make everything fairly autonomous. 
cool that'll do it for this lesson um actually i wanted to show you one more thing so um rob from quest the groove normally likes to play like this i actually sometimes like to do two fingers on the hi-hat and you can play the kick and the snare with the thumb both through the thumb so um it takes a bit of practice i still haven't practiced it enough to be able to do it without making any mistakes all the time so sometimes you need to slow it down a lot um, but the good thing is you can do much faster on the hi-hat by doing it so things like that are really fun to do um, so that, that'll do it for this lesson i'll see you in the next one